are using this app, think of it, to bring thousands and thousands of people here illegally. Over the past three and a half years, Harris-Biden administration has resettled a half a million illegal immigrants from the failed state of Haiti, which is a totally failed country, very sad situation, into American communities, including over 200,000 who Kamala has illegally flown into the United States by airplane. Think of that. And they're coming out of Haiti, and they're coming out of other failed countries at levels that nobody has ever seen before. In addition to Aurora, Colorado, there's a place called Springfield, Ohio, that you've been reading about. 20,000 illegal Haitian immigrants have descended upon the town of 58,000 people, destroying their entire way of life. This was a beautiful community, and now it's uh, horrible what's happened. Enrollment on the state's Medicaid and food assistance programs have soared. Motor vehicle accidents have skyrocketed. Recording of 911 calls even show residents are reporting that the migrants are walking off with the town's geese. They're taking the geese. You know where the geese are? In the park, in the lake. And even walking off with their pets. My dog's been taken. My dog's been stolen. This can only happen. These people are the worst. This is, I'm telling you, Biden and Kamala, this is the worst combination in the history of our country. We, the only one happy is Jimmy Carter, because he's no longer referred to as the worst president in history. Not even close. Likewise, a small 4,000-person town of Charleroi, Pennsylvania. Have you heard of it? Charleroi. What a beautiful name. But it's not so beautiful now. Has experienced a 2,000 percent increase in the population of Haitian migrants under Kamala Harris. So, Pennsylvania, remember this when you have to go to vote. Okay, just remember this. 2,000 percent increase. It's a small town. All of a sudden, they got thousands of people. The schools are scrambling to hire translators for the influx of students who don't speak not a word of English, costing local taxpayers hundreds of thousands of dollars, and the town is virtually bankrupt. This flood of illegal aliens is also bringing massive crime to the town and every place near it. Earlier this year in Massachusetts, one of the Haitian illegals who Kamala flew into America was charged with raping a 15-year-old girl and badly, badly hurting, hurting that girl. Also in Massachusetts, a Haitian migrant was charged with raping a pregnant woman and beating her very badly. Yet another Haitian migrant who she imported was arrested for molesting a 10-year-old child who lived right next door. The child next door was badly, badly hurt. In New York this year, an illegal brought in through Kamala's migrant phone app was charged with savagely murdering his two roommates. He had two roommates set up by the people that set that up in this country. Welcome. They go, welcome. What would you like? Oh, I'd like to have a nice room. Okay, we'll give you two roommates. Viciously stabbing them to death. But these are just a few of the many, many stories. There are hundreds and hundreds. There are thousands of stories. They're coming in from all over the world, from prisons and jails, from mental institutions and insane asylums and many tourists at numbers that we have never seen before. You've never seen these numbers before, Art. You never saw these numbers before. Have you? You've never seen anything like this. This is unique, at least with you. It's unique. We cannot let this happen to our country. It will not end well unless Donald J. Trump is elected the 47th President of the United States. Thank you. All right, we'll get them out. We'll get it ready. We'll bring back our country in many ways. That's one way. But to me, that's like one of the most important ways. Well, we'll also stop World War III. That's an important way. There has never been an invasion like this in any country. There's never been an invasion like this. There's never been a border like this. No matter where you go in the world throughout history, there's never been a border like this. 
And the fake news media will correct me if that's the case. I'll tell you what, there's never been anything like what's happening to our country in history, because no leader of a country 